Start each year with your clients thanking you with this simple five-step strategy we call the Tax Helper System. Thank you so much for joining today. My name is Alex Camilio. I am the CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com, and I have a doozy of a strategy for you today. As you heard, it's called the Tax Helper System. But before we get into that, uh, a bit of housekeeping. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe uh, down below and uh, the notification bell as well, so you get notifications anytime we put videos out. If you're watching anywhere else, we'd really appreciate the like uh, and comment down below to let us know what you think. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, today we are talking about the tax helper system, and essentially what this is, is this gives you a great way to provide value and get referrals at the beginning of each year where your clients are going to be thanking you for what you're doing for them. Now, this tax helper system essentially um, is that you set up uh, the closing documents and mail them to your clients uh, and previous clients at the beginning of each year when it's time for them to be filing their taxes and they're going to need those specific forms. And trust me, people will thank you over and over and over again for doing this for them. But there's a basic strategy we're going to talk about today uh, that makes sure that you end up getting referrals in the process of helping your past clients um, beyond just going the extra mile for them. Now, there's a five-step strategy for doing this. It it is pretty simple and straightforward, but I'm going to walk you through it today, uh, as well as we have an article that goes along with all of these videos. So if you prefer it in that form, uh, head over to agentinnercircle.com and the entire outline and script that we're going to talk about today uh, is there as well. So step one. Anytime you have a closing this year, whether it is on the buyer or seller side, um, you want to make sure that you make two extra copies, one for the buyer, one for the seller, of the closing statements. Now, this might seem simple, but this is going to go a long way when you see how this works out. Um, these documents are really, really helpful at the beginning of the year when it's time to do your taxes, and we're going to walk through how to mail those out and get those out to people. So once you print two extra copies, you go to that closing, um, you have those extra copies of the closing statement, put them in an envelope with a letter from you. Now this letter should include um, a little bit more about why you're sending this to them, how it's helpful, why they should hold on to it, things like that. Um, but you're gonna hold on and not send that letter right away. You're gonna go and tuck that envelope with the closing statement and your letter uh, into a box, a filing cabinet, somewhere tucked away that you hold on to it throughout the year. Before you do that though, we're gonna go to step three. And step three uh, is that you're going to address and postage um, these envelopes. So address them to your previous clients, make sure it is their new address uh, that you're sending it to. Um, but address these to the previous clients. Uh, you can even put postage on it so you're not paying a lump sum um, at the end of the year. But, uh, you know, forever stamps are great for that and these are just a few documents that you're using. Now, once you've done that, you've gotten these envelopes together with your letters, with the closing statements, you are going to tuck them away in that box, in that filing cabinet that we talked about, and you're going to wait until January or February the following year. Um, a lot depends on, you know, you know your clients and, you know, when they're going to be filing stuff and so on, but having it to them in January tends to work out very, very well. So we're going to prep this all year and we're going to send those out uh, in January with that letter, letting them know why you're sending it, how you're being helpful, and so on. Now, once you're done with that, once you've sent out those letters, you're going to wait for about three to four days um, for the mail to make it to them. And, and again, you know the mail in your area, so if it's only you know a day or two to get to them, go by that. If it's three to five to seven days, go by that. You want to make sure that they've received these packages when you're calling them. So once you wait those, say, three to four days, you're going to place a call and follow up with them. 
And we even include a script in the article that goes through a little bit more depth on what you can say when you call them. Um, but it essentially goes a little something like this. So you start out with an introduction, um, you know, hi, John, hi, Susan, hi, Linda, whatever it might be. Uh, a few days ago, I put a package in the mail to you, um, and I was just following up to see if it arrived yet. Um, and generally you've waited enough time. So they say, oh yeah, I got your package. And you say, oh, you got it. That's great. Uh, I've heard from so many clients about not being able to find that paperwork, um, when it comes time to do their taxes. So I like to send it out so that you have some time, um, to prepare your taxes, you have a little bit of time to get ready for that. You have it right in front of you and available. And it's just one more way to say thanks for working for me. Now, they're probably going to say, oh, thank you so much for sending this. We really appreciate you doing this, things like that. And this is where it's time to transfer uh, into talking about referrals. You know, hey, it was really a pleasure working with you. I really enjoyed the process. Um, and I often find that some of my best clients and best friends that I end up working with are referrals from some of my past clients. So do you know anyone else that's considering buying a home or selling their home soon? Right? And you've transferred right into having that conversation about a referral. So you build up all year, you implement these five easy steps, um, and you start your year in January with some awesome referrals because you are providing so much value um, and so much help to people they feel like they want to give back, right? That, that psychology of reciprocity. Now, beyond that, I just do want to mention that you need a follow-up plan beyond this. Um, we always suggest following up on uh, at least a monthly basis, and, and we have all sorts of other videos and content uh, on that. Um, so I'm not going to go into that in too much depth today. But if you are looking for something that is, um, you know, really stand out in following up on a monthly basis, I would definitely check out Service for Life. Uh, I'll include that link down in uh, the description below um, or in the article below, depending on where you are watching this. Um, so super simple strategy, right? Make two extra copies of the closing statements put it in an envelope um, with a letter from you, and we've talked about what that letter should include, uh, send it out, address it to everybody, get the postage ready, um, mail them in January or February of the year. You know your clients, you know, know when it's the best time to mail based on taxes for them, and then place a follow-up call three to four days later, uh, and you are good to go um, on your way to set, getting some amazing referrals in January. So that being said, um, make sure you are out there getting the, those referrals throughout the year. It is absolutely the best way to build your business. Uh, and speaking about building businesses, I got to include one more thing, which is if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, as well as that notification bell so you get notices uh, whenever we put out content. If you are on Facebook, hit the like, comment below, let us know what you think about this. Is this a strategy you're going to use? Um, is this a, a strategy you think is going to be helpful this year? Is it something you already do? Um, because this was submitted uh, by some agents in our community and is something that is already successful for a number of agents out there. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, we greatly appreciate you joining us. And until next time, this is Alex Camilio.